talking about it. Today we have beautiful gaming laptop MSI Alpha 15. It has AMD Ryzen 7 and the graphics RX 6600M. We'll take it apart. We'll see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. Let's start with the bottom screws. Okay, now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest, so find a gap where you can put your priming tool and work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. And use only plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Now we have access to all internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Now we can take out all the screws for the battery. This is how we can take out the battery. So if your battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Here we have the model number. Now let's take out the storage. That's our SSD drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot and shows no boot device or you would like to upgrade to a bigger capacity, that's how we can do it. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Now we can take out our Wi-Fi card. So disconnect the antenna wires and unscrew one screw on the top. And this is how we can take out the Wi-Fi card. So if it doesn't work or you would like to upgrade it, you can do it. Now let's see the memory. So under that cover, if you, you have memory slots, Spread the arms and that's how you can take out your memory. So we can replace it or upgrade to the bigger one. That's a DDR4 memory. Now let's take out our cooling and fans. So if your laptop overheats or the fans are making grinding noise or they don't spin, this is how you can replace this part. So unscrew all the screws for the fan and disconnect them for, from the motherboard. Now unscrew all the screws for the heat sink. Let's see. Yeah, this one we will have to take off as well. Now here we have our processor and here we have our graphics card. 
they both soldered on the motherboard. So if something happens to your processor or you have bad video graphics card doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Okay, now gently separate the heatsink from the motherboard. It may be stuck because of the cooling paste, so be very careful. Oh, we have one more screw for the fan. All right, now the heatsink is coming out. Be careful, don't bend it. So let's disconnect the video cable because it's holding us a bit. One more screw here for the fan. All right, so this is our heatsink fan assembly. Here we have the part number. Now we can see our DC power jack. So if your laptop isn't getting power or the jack is broken, so you have to lift this tab and now you can slide it out. Here we have the part number. That's our DC power jack. So let's take out all the screws for the motherboard. We are pulling out the motherboard. Let's make sure the Wi-Fi antenna is not attached to the motherboard, okay? Now you can disconnect the speaker connector. Let's see. Okay, and the motherboard is out. There's connector for the I.O. board on the other side, so we have to disconnect them. Those are our keyboard touchpad connectors, so we have to disconnect these as well. That's our backlit connector. All the connectors are disconnected, so now the motherboard is out. Here we have the model number. That's our board, that's our graphics, GPU and the processor. They both soldered on the motherboard. Now we have access to our I.O. board. It has our USB ports, so if ports are not working, or physically broken, you can replace this board. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out our speakers. So if your sound is bad, this is how you can fix it.
those are our speakers and here we have the model number so as we can see we can take out the touchpad if we have to replace it it's held by these screws the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot take it out. You would have to replace the whole palm, palm rest keyboard assembly. Now we are pulling out the screen, so let's unscrew the hinges. Now unfold the hinge. And now we can disconnect everything. So that's our keyboard palm rest touchpad assembly. Usually sold in one piece. If you are looking for parts, check getlaptopparts.com. And that's our screen left, also sold usually in one piece. That's much easier to replace. The actual LCD is very fragile and you can break it when you try to replace it. Here we have the model number, part number. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.